right, today we're going to learn how to read bar graphs. So our goal, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand the data shown by a bar graph, okay? Let's look at this first one together. You survey 12 students about their favorite school club. The results are shown on the picture graph. Represent the same data on the bar graph. So this right here is our picture graph because it has pictures on it. And this right here is going to be our bar graph. Okay, all right, let's look and see how many smiley faces are in our drama. There's two smiley faces, and if each smiley face is worth two students, so we have two and two, two plus two is four, so we have four students that say their favorite school club is drama. So over here on our bar graph, we're going to represent four students for drama. Now look at our um, scale down here. It's counting by ones. So we're going to go to our drama, and we're going to go all the way to number four. And we're going to color that in. The reason they call this a bar graph is because we're drawing bars to represent how many students like drama. Okay, now math, we have one smiley face. So we have two students who like the math club. So we're gonna draw a bar graph all the way to number two. Make sure it is touching the line because if not, it could represent a different number and you don't want that to happen. All right. Our last club is robotics. We have two students, two students, and two students. Two plus two plus two is six. So robotics, we're going to go all the way to number six. Okay, and color it all in. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, that is how you draw a bar graph. Okay. We're going to keep going and do some more together. All right. A bar graph shows data using bars, just like we drew a minute ago, and just like they have right here. The scale of a bar graph is the group of labels that shows the values at equally spaced grid lines. So down here, this is the scale, okay? And this is the bar graph. When a bar goes in the middle, halfway in between two lines, we're going to make that the halfway, um, what number is between the two numbers, okay? Halfway between. It'll make more sense in a minute. All right, let's look at this, um, our questions. Use the graph to answer the questions. All right, how many gold medals did Japan win? So let's look at Japan and go all the way in toward the red ends. And it ends where? Yes, the 12. So Japan won 12 gold medals. Okay. How many gold medals did Jamaica win? So let's look at Jamaica. And Jamaica is halfway between 4 and 6. Do you know what number goes halfway between 4 and 8? Four and eight. I think I said six a minute ago. It's actually an eight right there. Four and eight. It is six. It is six. We have, because it'd be four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have one on each side. So six is our middle number. So how many gold medals did Jamaica win? And that would be six gold medals. Okay. Which country won the fewest gold medals? So we're going to look at our bar graph and see which one won the least number of medals. Which one has the least number of medals? Yes, that would be Sweden. So right here we're going to put Sweden won the fewest gold medals. Okay, because it's asking for which country. So which of these countries? It's not asking for a number. Okay, and we're done. 
Not too bad. All right, let's go to number one. Use the graph to answer the questions. How many students chose grapes? So let's look at our bar graph and we'll get grapes. And our color ends at the line 10. So 10 students chose grapes. Okay. Which fruit is the most favorite? The most favorite. So we're going to look at the fruit that has the most number of students. It goes the farthest. And that would be what? Apples, grapes, or bananas? Apples, yes. And so it's asking for fruit, so we're going to just write apples. We're not going to write a number because it's not asking for a number. Okay. All right, let's do another one together. Use the graph to answer the questions. How many students does each grid line represent? So let's look at our, our scale down here. What, how, it's asking, what does each of these lines represent? You know how a minute ago our um, key said each smiley face equals two students? Well, each line here is counting by what? Fours. So each line represents four. Okay, it's counting by fours. How many students chose fall? So let's look at fall. What's well, halfway in between? 16 and 20, do you know? We can go ahead and do 17, 18, 19, 20. So 18 is the halfway mark. 18 students chose fall. You know it's going to be an even number because all of these are even numbers. Okay. Which season is the least favorite? Which season has the least number of students. Spring, summer, fall, or winter? Yes, winter. And we are writing the actual name because it's asking for that. It's asking for a season, not a number. Okay, now you're going to have some to do on your own for practice. If you need help, come back and watch this video. Good luck.